So here we are. It's another day. We're working on the truck. We are two weeks out from Slamology. Two weeks. I've still got quite a bit to do. It's been raining all morning. We're going to have storms and rain all day today and tomorrow. I got the big tent set up. We're going to keep cranking on this thing. And I haven't found a trailer yet, guys. My usual trailer guy, no bueno this year. So I'm going to crunch for getting this done and finding a trailer. So let's see what we can get done today. Stick around. Check this. So when we left off the last time, we had did some test fits on the, the battery box, battery case, whatever you want to call that, that I made for this. It fits. We know it fits. I was working on the panels. We're going to try to change it up today. I've still got to finish up those panels for the sides, but uh, we're going to get cranking on getting some of this wiring done. I got positive and I got negative uh, lines to finish up. Uh, I got some in, so we're going to carefully... Peel some of this vinyl back, try to anyway, and get some holes drilled for this so I can get some more runs up to that uh, distro bar. So that's what we're going to work on now. So this is how I'm trying this. What I've done is I've cut a cross slit, just whoosh, whoosh, peel that vinyl back, and then I taped it. That way I, I don't catch it with my drill bit. So now I'm drilling a pilot hole here. So next, I'm going to try and come up underneath of it. You see my finger at the bottom. I'm going to try to come up underneath of it with the larger bit, with this bit here, to, to make my, my hole for the run. So we'll see how this works. So that seemed to work pretty good. Didn't mess up my vinyl. My hole was a little large. So I'm going to see if I got a bit that's more the size of my wire. Okay, all four of those are done. Get my finger through them. They're still a little tight, but we're gonna send it. So now, I did some sweeping here. We're gonna get these batteries sent home. Okay, got them in and buttoned down, literally. So, kind of making this easy access, I suppose. That, that way, if I got to get them out, it won't take but however long it's going to take to <clears throat> undo all the runs from the battery. Pop off the two panels that I'm going to make here. A few screws, and that whole thing should slide out. So, should make it easy to work on. Easier the better. Easier the better. Working along here. I got that panel in and man you could really see those wrinkles but at this point i don't care i gotta get it i gotta get it together i gotta get a plan so i got that panel in and stupid me when i wrapped the other side the matching panel i wrapped the wrong freaking side so i gotta take it all apart and redo it hopefully i got enough vinyl left to do that i should but my luck i won't great but anyways so I started hooking up some ground now that I got these batteries actually secured. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like to start hooking all my grounds up first. So I got uh, two grounds, frame grounds from this side bolted in. Now the rest of my grounds are going to come from over here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to run them across the battery. I don't have much other choice in that. So, And in some of these wires hanging down, don't pay attention to those i'm going to fix those up here later um and realistically you're just going to be standing here looking at it like this i mean i'm sure someone could bend down and look in there because like i said i'm going to have these panels here it's going to cover a lot but i don't know just got to get it together got to get it playing got to get it cleaned up got to find a trailer <laughs> Okay, I got a lot of grounds hooked up. These are either body grounds or grounds from the front. I got several of those hooked in now. Now I got uh, to finish my runs. It's going to go from the battery to the bu bus. So I got these all mocked up. Basically just got to 
trim the ends and screw down. Now, this is the only thing I don't like about buying wire. Some of this wire has been in a blazer for a while. Some of this is new, obviously. And over the years, it's the same wire, but the jackets have changed on them. Um, the way they, they manufacture them. And these are more clear. Um, let me see here. Here's some of the first wire I put in the blazer, I think. I don't know. But the jackets have changed over the years, so I kind of don't like that because it's kind of mixed up a little bit. But I'm not about to pull these out and put new ones in. That's just, I, I just can't. I just, no, I can't do it. So that's where we're at today. It's been raining for quite a while. I'm up underneath my canopy, working, staying dry. But unfortunately, once again, it is my day off and I gotta go into work for a little bit, work a detail. But I got quite a bit done, guys. I mean, this is a lot of tedious work. So really, like I said, get all these ends cut off, get them on the battery, and I can get all my power ones done. Those are basically done, too. I just gotta get those ends cut off and put in. I mean, it's, it's there, guys. So finish getting these tied in, I can start wiring the amplifiers back up. That's gonna take just a little bit of time. But we're gonna wrap it up for today. Been working for a while today. Slept a little longer than I wanted to, but I'm out here cranking on it. Um, if my last segment got cut off uh, before I was done talking, I apologize. I didn't realize my memory card was full, but we took care of that. So like I said, I've been out here working for a while today. Got a bunch of grounds tied in and in to the batteries. Now I'm working on the uh, positives. Got a couple of them in. Had to make up some more cables. Um, decided I wasn't going to try and drill through like I did with the grounds over here. I have enough room. That I, I, I don't care. I'm just going to send them through there and, and be done with it. So, I get these tied in. Get the amplifiers wired back up. And little bit of cleaning up then I may be able to put my bank in up front and I may have the same playing today guys Woo! so those are all in now everything is tied in it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would it doesn't look as good as I thought it would either but what do I do in this situation nothing Okay, so now I'm down to, I got to <clears throat> do these panels somehow, get these amps wired up, and get my super cap up front in, and there's a procedure to doing that that I've never done before, so hopefully I don't screw that up, but uh, happy, making progress, so... Let's move on to the next thing. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Down here, I got some wires. That, that goes to my splitter, relays, and stuff like that. So I got to figure out how to tie those in to the system yet. So I might do that before I put the, build these panels and put them on. Okay. Batteries are all wired up. Everything is complete there. I got that other panel on there to match this one. And like I said, got a panel going to make here. Panel going to make there to kind of cover that up. And something will go across the bottom and the top maybe. I don't know. But I got it all that done. Had to clean up some. It just looked like a rudder den. I was tripping over myself. But that's done. Now I'm going to move on to wiring these amps back up and that's going to be a little bit of a process because I use the uh, dual connectors on each amp and I'm going to put wire ferrules on them and shrink wrap them. So two, four, six, eight, 
10. So I have 20 of them to do. Great. So this is the power and ground for my four channel. I don't do dual runs to it. Um, so I got the, the ferrules on that. Those will be ready to go. So now I got my bench is a mess. All these, there's all the shrink wrap for it. All those to do still. Should be fun. Not. So I got the first one done here, and you can see how much cleaner that makes that all look. <clears throat> no wires sticking out, and they tighten down really good on that dual input. And there's no flop or wiggle to it at all. So those wire ferrules certainly help out a lot. Well, I had one that didn't exactly work. I don't know what, what the problem was, but it popped it right out. It must have been, I must not have had it in far enough. Caught on the edge there and just pushed it right out. That one's fine, but that one's not. So I'm going to have to redo it again. Thank God I ordered extras because uh, that would have looked stupid if I had seven of them and one not. And I got two amps wired in, hooked up, whatever you want to call it. And I forgot how much of a pain in the butt this was the last time I did it. Now it's reminding me. Woo-wee! So anyways, I got two of them hooked up, three more to go. Like I said, this one's easy because there's no double inputs on it. It's just pretty much straight shots to the bus bars here. So I'm about five hours into this section today okay they're all hooked in everything was there everything's uh buttoned up and tight and that daggone pop every time i hook an amp up i always know it's coming and it still gets me every time but it's playing and well yeah it's playing i uh I fired it up just on battery power for a minute just to make sure everything was uh, the way it's supposed to be. Everything came on and I played it for just a, a brief moment uh, just under the power of the batteries. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's been almost a year. I am pumped now. Absolutely pumped. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up for today. This will be the end of this one. Um, like I said, it's been a year, guys. A year. Almost a year since I've had this thing playing. And now I'm super pumped. I can't wait to uh, finish it up. So I've still got these panels here to finish. I've still got to get the front battery in. And i got to get this thing cleaned up. And we're ready to go. Uh, 13 days till Slamology. 12 days till I have to pull out. Now my next uh, big endeavor is I gotta find a trailer. I don't have a trailer yet. I don't know if I told you guys, but my normal trailer, my normal trailer guy, no bueno this year. Um, he's taking his show car to Slamology, so I gotta find a trailer. I have a tow pig, just don't have a trailer. So I'm happy. I'm pumped. I'm excited. So we're gonna end it today, and that'll be it. So until next time, guys, base on.